Okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I have had this light ring forever, and I've never used the mount in the center of it for my camera or my phone, and I'm using it, and it's kind of cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so anyway, today is April 2nd of my day two of my 30-day vlog challenge. Do you like my little pony up here? I need to do my undercut. So don't, no judgment. It's quarantine. So whatever. But I did want to show you guys. Penelope, out. I did want to show you guys. Oh, don't mind my shoes. Some of my projects um, that I have completed since being isolated and now quarantined. God, my nails look orange. They're red, I promise. They do look orange in this light. <laughs> anyway, so here are some of the bags that I have done during quarantine since I'm not, a, I'm still learning crochet. I'm nowhere near being close to teaching crochet. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing since I haven't been on crafting in a long time. I've been working on crochet since well, no, I started crocheting just chains when I was a kid, but I never knew what to do after that. And then a couple years ago, my mother-in-law taught me how, <clears throat> or tried to teach me how to knit, but I can't purl. I can, or I can't knit. I can only purl. So everything just always fell apart on me. It was just, it was terrible. So I gave up on that. And now I am crocheting because you can learn how on YouTube. So that's what I did, or am doing, and anyway, here we go. So here's the first shopping bag. <clears throat> I even got my own tags. You can see Jenny Rebecca. I got my own personalized tags. So here's bag one. Yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday. I still have to cut my hair, no judging. So here's the bag. It has nice, thick, six layer straps. And then I made a matching produce bag to go with it. And this also has my tag, my logo. And I can't see a thing, I'm blind as a bat. My glasses are sitting over there because the light ring reflects off of my glasses. It's just not good. So the second bag is this one. And it's different, they're all different. This one has shorter, one, two, three, four row handles. It's more of a purple and green, where the other one was blue and white. And this one has my logo as well. My husband says I should sell these, but I don't know. I'm not ready. So here's the bag. It comes out like this. It holds a lot. These are actually quite large, as you can see, and they're stretchy. This one has a very tiny produce bag. This one is for like something small and fragile like tomatoes or kiwi fruit or something like that. So it opens. And then when you're done, you just loop the handle over and it kind of keeps it closed so your produce doesn't roll all over the place. Now this does have a little bit of weight to it. I wouldn't weigh my produce at the check stand in this. I would definitely take it out, but you know, since we don't, well, actually they brought back plastic just because of the virus, but we had plastic bags banned for a while. So we all had to buy these fabric bags and they're okay. I got ones with Penelope. I bought ones with a bunch of um, animals on them from Amazon. And then I thought, well, why don't I just make some? So here's the next one. I like this one a lot. It's the smallest bag, but I think it's the prettiest. See the pattern? And again, my tag is on there. And this one has a much larger produce bag than the rest. This one will hold apples or potatoes. Here's my label again, but this one is gray and white and then here's the matching shopping bag 
And then this is not a bag, but I did finally finish this yesterday. This is a variegated shawl. No, var variegated is not the right word. I'm super congested. I apologize. Uh, tree pollen is super high right now. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But striated. Striated? I don't know. It goes from dark to light. So like gray and then it goes all the way down to a super light cream color. And it's a shawl. So you wear it like this. Or you can, well, I'm not the right person for this one. It's not quite my size. But you could wear it to the side. You could be totally fashionable. I'm not. Anyway, I've also done, before quarantine, I made a ton of hats with little fur, faux fur, poof balls on the top. And blankets. I've made my grandson two blankets, which let me get those. So here's the first one I made and it's, um, small. It's small, but it's called a bobble blanket. I don't know if you can see, there you go. You can see the bobbles and it's navy blue, cream, and silver, and it has sparkles in it. But it's kind of a smaller blanket, like for nap time on the couch or whatever, just laid on top of my grandson. Or he can play with it. I don't know. <gasps> I always get out of breath when I'm on here. I get anxious. That's it. So then I made this one. This is much bigger. I have not put my tag on this one yet. But this is my first granny stitch and it changes colors dark or light dark light dark light dark light dark yeah right i haven't put my label on here yet but i did finish this one i'm going there next month if the ban lifts and um i'll just give it to them so that's my plan So today I will be working on my hair. I'm going to be doing my undercut, evening it out, because it's like really, it's not good. <laughs> it needs help. I need a haircut really bad and I can't go anywhere. Nobody's open, nobody's cutting hair. So yeah, that's, oh, I'm, uh, I'm working on two more bags right now, currently. I have one bag that is one third done. I'm just waiting on my yarn to arrive today so I can finish it. It'll probably take me two days to finish it because it's a color block bag. So it's a light color or a mixed color, a light color, and then a dark color on top. And then the other bag I just started, I'm still working on the base. I'm only on the third row, but it's a beautiful green. It's called lettuce, which doesn't give it a very pretty thought in my head but it's a beautiful green and my mother-in-law asked us to clear out her storage closet well during that process I discovered bags and bags of crocheted flowers so I'm going to do something special for her with these because I don't want them to go to waste I have this huge cart full of these beautiful handmade hand crocheted some of them have a magic circle some of them this one does I just found them the string there these beautiful handmade crocheted flowers so with the bag I'm going to do something super special for her some of them are not tied off very well, so I have to make sure I'm super careful. But I have big plans for two gallon size Ziploc bags that I found so far because I haven't been through the cart yet. In fact, this whole top drawer is full of these. Here's another one. 
let me see if I can turn you this cart with the purple thing right there it's very tall uh, there we go I don't normally do that of course this is the first time I've ever had a camera oh I got a deposit